All right, guys, today I'm going to put a little video together. Uh, I wanted to take the video from the beginning, but I didn't have anybody to actually shoot the, the video for me. Uh, what we've done is we're putting a uh, water pump impeller in this uh, 150 four-stroke Honda motor. Uh, it's, it's, this impeller's been here five years, and I know it's time to replace it, and I just took the time today to, to actually do it. Uh, what you're going to end up doing is there's a bunch of bolts in the bottom of the unit. Let me get down here so you can see them. There was a bolt here, there's a bolt here, and a bolt here. There's three more on the opposite side as well. You'll take all those bolts out. I think I got got all a little off on the video. There, there, and there. And then you're going to have a couple of more in the very bottom of it. I'm not sure if you can see them there. But, uh... In the very bottom of the, let me lay it down here so y'all can see it. Sorry about that, guys, but the wife's sick and I don't have anybody to shoot this video. But there we go. Up inside this housing is going to be another another bolt inside there. You'll have to pull this bolt out here. Get the trim. I just caught the trim tab off of it. Once you get that trim tab off of it, then you'll go inside there and remove that bolt in there. So I think it's a 14 millimeter one. Now, once you get that off, and you got all these other bolts off the side of it, this one, this one, and this one, it'll act like it's stuck in place, but it won't be. Uh, just kind of tap on it with a rubber mallet on it. Let me stand it back up. This video is going to be a mess, folks, but it's the best I can do. If it was in place on top of this motor here, like you see there, just come down there and tap on the the side of the housing on it real lightly on both sides and then pry it a little bit up here and a little bit up here and uh, it will separate and then you'll see you just kind of work it down until it comes off the unit it is pretty heavy make sure you grab it in a secure place so that you don't cut yourself with a prop and then you'll gain access to the actual water pump itself which is right here now our next step will be to actually uh, separate that and show you how that comes apart. You're going to probably have to convince it a little bit by tapping it with a rubber mounted hammer. And get it to loosen up. Keep working at it, it'll come loose eventually. It's almost like I got another bolt in there somewhere, but I got them all out. We just have to talk it talk to it and convince it a little bit more, I guess. So I've had one of these break before, so this wouldn't be the first time. Let me get a little screwdriver and we'll try to help it a little bit with that. In the one moment, we'll be right back with you. All right. Let's see what this screwdriver is going to do here. It's kind of hanging up on one corner there. Hat dog, and look at that. We got it. All right, there we go. You pull it completely off the shaft, and that's what you're going to see when you get inside there. There's your impeller. It really doesn't look that bad for being in there for all them years, but you know what? We got it apart. We're going to replace it. There's the the impeller pull this little shield off here a lot of guys just want to go in there and replace that uh, impeller by itself if I have an option I sure want to replace it all and there is the little uh, See if we can get that up there where it can focus. It's a little keyway that holds the impeller in place. And that's about it as far as separating it, guys. Next step is going to be to put her back together. <laughs> 